Hello, I'm Ray. Welcome to another midweek message. Lunchtime Tuesday, about 20 degrees centigrade. I'll check the Fahrenheit for that later. Just been to the Met Office weather forecast and it said thunder, lightning, torrential rain, blah, 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 about now. And there's nothing. The sun's come out. So I went on their site again and had a look and it says, what do you think about weather forecasts? So I told them better to go out and look at the sky than read their forecast. It's always wrong. I don't know what it is. All morning it's been saying torrential rain and thunder about one o'clock lunchtime. And when it gets to one o'clock, the sun's out. It's hopeless. It's now moved to six o'clock. Apparently six o'clock this evening we're having thunder and torrential rain. By the time we get to five, they would have changed that. Anyway, there we are, not to worry. Brent, lovely to hear from you, Brent, with a request. Brent said to me, what films, movies do you recommend that would give me a good idea of 1950s, 1960s Britain? Good, actually, good question, Brent. I like that, and it's given me an idea for next Sunday's podcast. I'm going to talk about films, movies from that era. It's no good looking at modern films set in that era because it's all false, isn't it? They've covered up the double yellow lines on the streets along by the curb. They've taken down TV aerials and it's not genuine. Oh, by the way, Brent is in uh, America. So, yeah, great idea, actually. So what I recommended was Agatha Christie with Margaret Rutherford. OK, Miss Marple. Have you heard of Miss Marple, the Agatha Christie films? The black and white films with Margaret Rutherford as Miss Marple, they're great. Some of them are a bit silly. You might watch them and think, well, I don't know, this is all, all a bit silly. But what I like about them is they were actually filmed back in the, what, 40s, 50s, 60s, I don't know when. And you can look at the streets. You can look at the cars, the buildings, the way everything was, the, the phone boxes everywhere that we used to have. Well, it is everything on record, isn't it? It's all on film. None of it's made up at all. I mean, obviously the storyline is, but the actual pictures that you're seeing are all genuine. Another thing I suggested to Brent was Dixon of Doc Green. Go onto YouTube and look up Dixon of Doc Green. Dixon is a, a policeman played by Jack Warner. And again, 60s, I think very early 70s, all the, the scenes, it's all going back to then. And it's great to, to have a look at the cars and everything again. Um, what else did I suggest? Heartbeat. That's uh, when was Heartbeat? Because what Heartbeat does, they play a lot of 60s music. So look up Heartbeat. Look up all this stuff on the YouTube channels and you'll find all the programmes are there. I often watch YouTube rather than ordinary telly. It's, it's much more entertaining. Brent also asked about Quadrophenia, the movie. I haven't seen that one, but uh, I was chatting to Trish and she said, oh, yeah, brilliant. Quadrophenia is brilliant. I'm not very good at films, um, unless they're old. The old black and white stuff from the 50s, early 60s. I like all that, but I don't like all these modern films. So if you want to see what uh, 1940s, 50s, 60s Britain was like, just go to YouTube and look at some of the old films that are on there. Now, I haven't heard from Janet, which is a little bit worrying. Where are you, Janet? I thought you were going to come up <laughs> with uh, with an email and all sorts of dreadful things that I can't repeat to anyone. But you haven't. So perhaps you've gone on holiday or something. Oh, we've got a new Prime Minister, by the way. Uh, just, what, a couple of hours ago? What's the time? I don't know. A couple of hours ago. Liz Truss is now our Prime Minister. So I'm not going to comment further on that. If you've got anything to tell me, raise rants at protonmail.com. What films would you recommend? That's the thing, isn't it? What films? I mean, there are so many so many films from the old days that I just, I don't know, I can't think of any offhand. What would you recommend? Do let me know. Be interesting. I think anything. I think I would just recommend to people abroad anything in black and white, <laughs> even though some of them are rather silly. Some of the carry-on films. I don't know whether you've seen those in America, Australia, wherever. Obviously you have. Yes, of course you have. The carry-on films. They were all set back in the what, 50s, 60s. And I've been watching on YouTube um, driving diesel trains in Britain in the 50s, uh, 1959. They're only half hour things, but all about driving trains back in the, the 50s. And they're quite interesting because you see a lot of the stations exactly how they were, of course, 
a lot of the scenery there as you're going along in the train. Quite interesting. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I shall see you on Sunday with the hour-long episode. Well, almost an hour long. Take care, look after yourselves and don't do anything I wouldn't do. (laughs) Bye-bye for now.